Become wise by walking with the wise. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. Proverbs 13, 20. Surrounding yourself with good people is critical when you are running any small business, not just lawn care. Having a strong network of like-minded business professionals and friends is important. You cannot hang out with your old drinking buddies from college. You need to join different networking clubs and community service groups. Some examples of these groups would be your local chamber of commerce, Toastmasters, or here in Spokane, the Spokane Business Builders Club or maybe a community service organization like the Qantas, Rotary, or Lions Club. When you are first getting started, you need all the help you can get. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Look to other successful folks in your community that will share with you what they have learned over the years. If you need help with branding or marketing, talk to a local sign company. They will be more than happy to help you get set up with a sign and a brand. Yes, it costs money, but maybe you can work out a lower priced option to get your business kicked off. Also, you'll need to get insurance and a business license. Any insurance agency in town will be more than happy to help you get set up with a proper insurance and help guide you through the licensing process. You know, developing a relationship with your local hardware store or your tractor and equipment sales store is a good idea also. You're gonna to need to buy and service your equipment somewhere. Having these kind of relationships in place is critical when you're first starting your business. By joining these different clubs and organizations, you will meet other like-minded professionals from all walks of life. You'll meet insurance agents, plumbers, electricians, real estate agents, marketing professionals, bankers, doctors, lawyers, accountants, and so on. I stress the word like-minded because all of these folks have one thing in common, and that is to run a successful business. How valuable is it to ask a quick question to your new lawyer friend from your networking club? Or to ask your insurance friend how to save money on a $2 million umbrella policy? Or to ask your new accountant friend What's the difference between running a sole proprietor LLC or maybe changing to an S or a C Corp? When I first got started, I joined the Qantas Club as a community service group. I met other business professionals and other like-minded folks in my community that wanted to volunteer their time and give back to the community. I also joined the Spokane Business Builders. Spokane Business Builders is a group of professionals that meets weekly to exchange sales leads. That's the whole purpose of the group, is to exchange sales leads and to help one another be successful. You know, I went as far as befriending the paper delivery guy. He started handing out my flyers along with the newspaper. Yes, I paid him a few bucks to do this, but that's just another example of networking. I started attending free seminars to learn about new products and meet other professionals in my industry. I started hanging out with people that were way more successful than me, and I picked their brains and got a ton of free advice. Hey, if you're getting anything out of this video, please hit the like button, comment below, subscribe, and share. Engaging with this channel helps bring these videos to a wider audience, and maybe, just maybe, someone out there in YouTube land will be just a little bit more successful because you took the second to hit the like button. Again, you're not reinventing the wheel here. You're taking methods and processes that already work and applying them to your new business. I want you to go as far as talking to other lawn mowing guys in your own community. That's what I did. I sat down with other owners from different lawn mowing businesses here in Spokane and asked them questions. They were more than happy to share with me what they had learned over the years. And you're thinking to yourself, no way, that was the competition. There's no way they did that to help you. They did. And I'm sure there are others in your own community that will do the same for you. There's so much grass out there, there's no way they could or you could cut it all. You know, keeping in touch with these new friends was great. 
In fact, one of the bigger lawn mowing outfits here in Spokane called me when one of his trucks broke down and asked me to help fill in. What an honor it was for me to fill in and cut a few lawns for my friend. Wow, man, I was, I was just really just blown away. You know, another large company here in town stopped dethatching. They made the business decision for whatever reason to stop offering dethatching services. And now they refer all of their dethatching to me. How cool is that? I get a big boost early in the spring to power rake a ton of folks out there at no extra advertising cost to me. Wow. Let me recap what we've talked about in three simple words. Network, network, network. Thanks for watching the video. Please, if you got anything out of this video, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.